Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Sola and welcome back to my channel, American Rotter. Now, in complete transparency, I do not have a garage man cave oh. or to even have a garage. I live in an apartment, but I thought, you know what? If I wanted to source some decorations for my man cave, where would I go to? So that's the purpose of this video is to kind of show you guys out there Good places to find decor for your man cave garage. Yeah. And this video hopefully will answer some of those questions for you. So pretty cool items we found here. Sit back, hope you enjoy this video. It was a really big indoor flea mall. Took a while to kind of look through everything. Uh, may have missed some stuff, but just some general ideas of some pretty good items. This first one, was a gasoline pump size snap-on tool display case. Um, would make a great display case for model cars or uh, rare part items, I guess, for your man cave. Just a beautiful item. Um, had a little bit high sticker price on it, but if you could afford it, make a really great item for your man cave. Yep, that's what it was. Twenty. $9.95. Next, I located some paintings. This one was a vintage Corvette, a modern Corvette on this one. And the other painting was of some pickup trucks. Probably about a, uh, I'm not sure, 78 maybe, 77 model Ford. Uh, some great paintings, great item for your man cave. This was a really awesome Clay Smith Cam's reproduction sign. Not a bad price on it, I think it was $25. Measured probably two and a half feet wide by about two and a half feet tall. It's a fairly large little old sign for the price. Couldn't beat it. Great nostalgia in this type of sign. Look great hanging on anybody's wall. Who doesn't love model cars? This is a 1964 and a half Mustang convertible, 118 scale. Had a little bit of a hefty price on it. They were asking $50 for it. I think probably realistically you can get these a little bit cheaper on eBay for around uh, $35 or so. Hubcats are very versatile decorations. You can just hang them on the wall by their self. Looks cool in any man cave or garage. Or you can make clocks out of them. I've seen people put Roman numeral stick-on numbers around them and put a clockwork on the inside and uh, make clocks out of them. But uh, either way, not too highly priced. You can pick these up for around $25 a piece to go uh, on your wall. And it uh, looks great hanging on above any bar for any reason. If you have a desk in your man cave or even a workbench in your garage, this industrial light would look great hanging over it. They used a red porcelain base lamp and uh, connected it up with a block and tackle, rewired it, and it looked really awesome. Only $125 would make a great light for your man cave. Looking for clocks, I did spy this 1957 classic Chevrolet car uh, clock. I uh, think this was around $25, but uh, not a bad little item to spruce up that wall. Wow, told you this mall was big. Still a lot of items to look for. Came across this gasoline station sign. Uh, it's big, it's probably four and a half by maybe four and a half. It's plastic, probably from the 1970s, pure gasoline sign. 
I've seen people take these and build a light box behind them and hang them up on their garage wall and they just look really incredible. This one was priced at $450, probably negotiable, but uh, still a great item. Can you believe it? I ran across a set of 1965 Mustang taillight bezels. There was a pair of them here, and what I've seen people do is take these taillight bezels, buy the red lenses, wire them up, put them on a long board, paint that board candy apple red, write the word Mustang in the middle, and it makes a fantastic wall display that you can use for your man cave. It just really looks awesome. We'll get a lot of compliments. This set was only 40 bucks. Okay, everyone, it's not a true man cave if you don't have at least one car tag hanging up in there. I've never seen a man cave or a garage didn't have at least one car tag hanging up. But here in the mall, there were plenty for sale and uh, not too bad price. They were around five to $40 each, depending on what year and what uh, state they were. But overall, a great cheap decoration for that man cave and touches it off, lets everyone know it's your man cave. Vintage automobile spotlights. Now I've seen people take these things rewire them to 110, put them on extendable arm, and make a cool looking desk lamp. This one was about $25, not a bad price to start at. You got a creative mind with you. Ran across another 118th scale model, this one being a 1954 Chevrolet two-door hardtop. Wanted $50 for it as well. Again, probably a little bit overpriced, but man, these things just look so awesome and so detailed. Still checking out this giant mall. Uh, still looking around, got a few more items we ran across. And here's one of them here, 1960s side mirrors for an automobile. Not for sure if these are Pontiac or uh, something along that line, but uh, makes cool for your man cave bathroom to put them in there, mount them on the walls, a little shaving mirror. Now Jim Beam makes several decanters and different type of cars. This one happens to be an Indianapolis racer asking $50 for it, but this decanter was very detailed. And uh, if I ever get me a man cave, I'm gonna buy me one of these. Yeah! I think it would look great sitting on a shelf right up there behind my desk. Came across this reproduction Ford Power sign got a Ford Cobra on there not too big of a sign but still look great on the wall only asking 20 bucks for it can't beat that it's embossed which means that you can feel the design raised on it and just uh, would really cap off any man cave This next item was one of the most unique items I saw there in all of the flea mall. It was a center table, probably three and a half, maybe by three and a half. Seemed to have an etched picture of about a 1947 Dodge or Plymouth, I'm not for sure. Dodge, I think, yeah. Coupe on the top of it, $225. I think it was worth it, it's just a great looking little table. Classic car collector plates. Now I've seen a lot of different cars on these plates over the years. Hopefully you could find one like the car that you own. Look great hanging in your man cave. These happen to have the frames with them, which is kind of unusual. Makes them easier to hang on the wall. But uh, they were $40 each. About the going price for these, but uh, still looks great. Uh, especially if you've got one of these cars.
Okay, this last item I want to show you is a reproduction Packard service button sign. Uh, they call them buttons because they were round like a button. This one uh, was porcelain, which makes it a little bit more expensive, but uh, it was about two and a half feet wide and uh, just looks great. A great reproduction sign and not a bad price for it. They were asking $50. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you can go out and find you some great items like this for your man cave or your garage. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Be sure to check out my other videos and uh, have a great day. Hope you tune in for more. Thank you.